final round. And Yevgeny Makarenko of Russia, is he now just two minutes away from producing an upset here, and a big upset at that, with the Cuban so far not finding a way into this. Down in the third, and he's got to find something very, very special, and the crowd are warming to this one. Makarenko, his corner will have told him, I'm sure, just stay out of trouble, don't allow yourself to be suckered in. Right hand into the body from Martinez, but he doesn't have the, the power, I suspect, to really disturb Makarenko, who just allows himself to get off balance. Oh, and he gets caught coming in. He was caught by a right hand and another right to the body, which looked suspiciously low. No points awarded to the Cuban. Makarenko's lead still at six points. This, I think, is going to have to be a knockdown if Martinez is going to get back into this one. Makarenko getting ticked off by the referee for use of the head, told keep your head up. Martinez almost lands. Oh, right hand put him down. It was the right hand, and Makarenko did just what he didn't need to. He was suckered into it, and now we have an absolute fascinating last minute or so here. The count at eight, and the fight goes on. Now, both men have been on the floor. Well, what a contest we've got here. This light heavyweight, Russia against Cuba. The Russian maybe has it on points at the moment, but it could still turn round, and Martinez has got Makarenko on rubbery legs and in dangerous territory. Referee telling Makarenko, keep your head up, but it's easier said than done, and he holds on with no more than desperation. In the closing seconds of what's been a fascinating fight, which Makarenko for the most part has lost, but Martinez has come on strong in the final round. Referee saying to Makarenko, fight when you're told. And we're underway once again. Can Martinez still find that one big punch which could turn it round for Cuba? Makarenko now lands with a solid left hand. The Cuban corner, supposedly quiet, are bellowing their encouragement for their man. 11 points to 7 now, and Makarenko again wobbles. Did Martinez see it? Is he able to capitalise? But Makarenko holds on and buys priceless seconds. Still, he's ahead. And the upset looks as though it could be about to become a reality. Makarenko is desperately tired. He's caught again. A left hand once more. The leg stiffened. And a right hand. And he stumbles clumsily across the ring. But the score is at 11 points away to Makarenko. And despite a massive final round for Johansson Martinez from Cuba, coming on tremendously strong, Makarenko, I'm sure, will now be given the verdict. But we saw Johansson really loading up in that final period. And it begs the question, why on earth couldn't he do that earlier on? At last able to get past the long reach, and the left hook put his man down. Here again absolutely gambling with everything trying to turn the fight and like a tree waiting to fall in the wind down went Makarenko but he survived some anxious anxious times and now he will get the result the deliberations of the judges and it will be an upset victory for Evgeny Makarenko of Russia and Johansson Martinez disappointed and a defeat.